everybody, I am Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your TRX Pyramid Workout. So in this workout, we will be using your TRX suspension trainer and we will be working in a pyramid interval format. So we will be going up the pyramid in time and coming back down the pyramid in time, alternating between two exercises each circuit. All you need for this workout is your suspension trainer and a mat. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna start with just with a quick little warm up. You're just in your standing position, elbows by your side, and we're just gonna sit nice and deep and then big reach around. So just warming up, getting the blood flowing, getting everything ready for movement, sort of mimicking those movements that we're gonna do in the workout, getting loose, and then we'll do more of a quick stretch at the end. As always, if you need more of a warm up or a cool down, please get it on your own before doing this workout. So let's go one more, hold it down here, and then just open up those hips. Just a little gorilla walk out to the side, nice and deep, and then bring it up, stay here, and I'm just gonna lean into that side lunge as I push those arms forward. So here's how it's gonna work. Our pyramid is gonna go up in time and down in time. We're gonna go 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 45, we're at the top of the pyramid, 45, 30, back down to 15. We'll have 15 seconds of rest in between, and then in that circuit, we're gonna have two different exercises that you alternate between the two. Let's take it here and just reverse lunge. Just want you to drop that knee. You don't have to go super deep, but just to open up the hips. Here we go, and then let's take arms out. So, after each circuit, We'll have a quick little break where I'll give you a little cardio interval to keep that heart pumping, keep you moving. And then within that, I'll be showing you your next two moves. We're only gonna have three circuits, so it's gonna move quick, alternating upper body and lower body, and then core and upper body at the end. But as you know, with the TRX, core is always working and you're always getting your heart pumping. Good, let's flip it around really quick. Forward lunge now, arms out to the side. Almost done with this warm up. Even just the warm up you can tell is getting my heart pumping. Let's do a little rotation. One arm up and back. One more each way and relax. So we're gonna flip it back around facing your anchor point. Your first two moves are gonna be your very basic lunge. We're gonna alternate for the purposes of time. So you have the option to tap it down if you want and just use the straps for balance or keep that back foot off the ground. That's the idea with the TRX, right? That we can do those suspended lunges, back foot off the ground, switching between the two. As we go up in time, we'll also give you the option to take it up in cardio with a little jump lunge, but we'll save that to the top of the pyramid. Our second exercise is one row. You're suspended here. One row, flip those hands up one curl so alternating upper body row turn them up and curl so really make sure elbows in and then elbow flexion towards your face okay first 15 seconds alternate your lunges here we go foot can tap down or foot can go off the ground nice strong lunge bending in that front leg core is in tight five seconds 15 second is our favorite because it's so short Last one right here. 15 seconds to breathe. Then get yourself in that suspended position, facing your anchor point. We've got one strong row. Take it back, turn it here. One strong curl, curl. join me here. So this is our 30 seconds. Again, going up the pyramid, down the pyramid. And on this, I want you to really pay attention that you're doing two separate motions. On that curl, we're having, we're bringing our elbows by our sides to our, our back on the row, and then on the curl, we are pulling towards our ears. So you got about 10 seconds. Core is in tight. Three, two, one, little stretch. Now we're at the top of that pyramid, and we're going to take it 45 seconds with that alternating lunge. So you got about five more seconds to breathe. Core is in tight alternating lunge get low here we go so 45 seconds again you can tap it down in between 
If you want to just keep it more like your regular lunge with a little bit of balance, get low. You can keep that foot off the ground. And then with either of those options, if you want, you can do a little jump lunge. It's up to you. If you want that extra cardio and you can do the dump, jump lunge like me with both feet down or with that back foot off the ground right here. So extra cardio, extra burn. We have 15 seconds. However you're doing it, heart is pumping, breathe, jumping or stepping, foot off the ground or not, four, three, two, rest, breathe. So we're staying at the top of that pyramid, 45 seconds to make it even with our upper body. Upper body. We have about five more seconds to breathe. Here we go, one row, one curl, 45. Whew, almost forgot what I was doing for a second. Elbows in, my heart is still pumping. Again, you'll be getting cardio and strength. Elbows by your side. Bring it up strong, elbows in. So think about this as being the exact same motion you do with a bent over row and then with your curl. Elbows come right by your side and then out in front. So we got about 15 seconds left. Keep breathing, elbows in and bring it up. And in and up, five, four, three, two and rest we are on our way back down that pyramid this is what we love about pyramid workouts they go fast but you don't have a lot of time to breathe in between so five more seconds to breathe one last time alternating lunge 30 seconds here we go tap it down or step it back with that foot off the ground or again you can do that jump lunge if you want foot off the ground or not breathe Yes, you got it. My timer is starting to mess up, so I might need to get back onto that. Sorry, we might go a little longer, team. You got it. Last four, three, two, relax. Good, 15 seconds to breathe. Last 15 seconds that we've got. One more time, one curl, one row. Here we go row and curl here we go elbows in it's only 15 you got it breathe five seconds three two relax so get one big stretch back here you are done with that first pyramid circuit catch your breath get a quick sip of water and then I'm gonna give you a little cardio move that you can do while I preview our next moves, right? So I want you to take it to a regular squat and then plie squat. So you can take it with that little jump out and in, open up the hips, bring them in, or you can step it out, drop it low, step it in, drop it low. Nice and light, just to keep the heart pumping. If you want a real rest, that's fine too. Okay, your next two moves. So keeping with our lunges, we're gonna do the crossover curtsy lunge alternating again side to side so really think that you're getting deep into that hip outer thighs and glutes push out of it back to center here back to center so it's up to you again if you want to tap it down in between even if you're tapping it down keep the work in that front leg or if you want to keep it off the ground and again when we get to the top of that pyramid we're gonna give you the option to take it with a little bit of plyo, a little speed skater. And then our next move, there goes my timer again, is we're going to flip it around, one chest press, roll those arms forward, one triceps. Back to center, press, little ab roll out, triceps. So those are your two moves. Catch your breath, get ready to get started. Remember, we're going up the pyramid. You can relax if you've been doing those squat jumps the whole time. Up the pyramid, down the pyramid. It's gonna move quickly. And here we go, starting in four, three, two, alternate. So curtsy lunge, cross it over. 15 seconds 
is all that we need. Breathe, now I got 10. Get low, lean into it, straps are just for balance. Three, two, one, good. Flip yourself around, we got 15 seconds to breathe. Upper body, remember you've got one press, roll it out in front, one try, starting in three, two, one. Here we go, 30 seconds, roll it out and try. So just like our row and our curl, you're probably gonna find, you have to find sort of the mid point between the strength levels, because your chest, those are stronger muscles. You can go a little bit further back with that, 15 seconds but those triceps are smaller muscles. You're gonna feel that a little bit more. Really use your core. Five seconds. And breathe. Three, two, and relax. 15 seconds to breathe. We are at the top of that pyramid. So 45 seconds with that little curtsy lunge. And if you want, you can take it to that speed skater. But we wanna make sure that we still get low. Ready, here we go. So cross it over. Eyes up at that anchor point. Straps are just for balance. Get low. Foot can be off the ground or not. And then if you want, side to side. You're still, and again, just like the others, you can tap it down or keep it off the ground. Don't feel like you have to force that jump. If you want to just keep it here, you're going to feel it enough. You're still going to get that heart pumping. 15 seconds. Here we go. Breathe. 10 to go, still get low, eyes up at your anchor point, five, four, three, two, relax. Staying at the top of that pyramid, flip it around. 10 more seconds to breathe, one chest press, one triceps, nice and strong in the upper body and also the core. Here we go, and out in front. Bend in those elbows. Here's what we don't want, guys. Where you're just hinging at the hips, you want your whole body coming forward. Roll it out, yes. And breathe. Good. Core's in nice and tight. On that rollout, focus on that core. 15 seconds. Remember, if you need to make it easier, walk your feet forward, tougher, walk it back. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, I feel that, right? Stretch it out. 10 more seconds to breathe. Going down the pyramid. One more 30, one more 15. Get ready. Speed skater or curtsy lunge. Here we go. 30 seconds, step it, foot off the ground or foot tapping down, or a little jump, it's up to you. Breathe. Low into that hip, really make those legs work. You got it, team. Yes, after this, one more quick circuit on the ground, we're gonna get through this fast. Short workout, five, four, three, to relax. 15 seconds to breathe. Last one on the circuit, a quick 15 seconds. Chest press, triceps, strong arms and core. Ready, here we go, 15. Pull that belly button in towards your spine. So at that lowest point, push with the arms, pull back with the core. You got it, five, four, three, two, relax. Walk it out, get a little stretch here. And breathe. Back to here. And let's just take it to a little roll out. So roll it out, bring it in. So this is gonna be both a little stretch interval as well as keeping you moving. If you wanna add a little extra cardio, jump it up, roll it out jump it at the top that feels too weird just keep with the stretch okay so watch me we're gonna go down to the mat you keep moving we're gonna put our feet in the straps so if you remember flip them up like dirty socks stick your toes up and in 
roll over onto all fours. So go ahead, stop what you're doing, grab a sip of water, come down here with me. So we're gonna come all the way up into our high plank. Our first one is a push-up. I know it's not really fair after we just did all those chest presses, but you can stay on the knees if you want. So one push-up, knees in. If you want, this is probably where I'll be, one push-up from the knees, pop up to the plank, knees in. Our second one, we're gonna stay in this plank position. I know, we're here, and we're just gonna do that pike, lift those hips. It's gonna be a lot of core, but you can do this. So join me here, get ready for that first 15 seconds. Push-up, here we go. And your push-up can be small range of motion like that, or again, I'm probably gonna be on my knees, my arms are tired, push it up, knees into your chest. So you've got two different moves, three, two, one. Again, we did a lot of chest presses and triceps, so totally fine to take it down to those knees. Let's come on the elbows, think through your core. We're here, find your balance, and let's take it up with that pike. It's 30 seconds, I know. Don't worry, we're gonna mix it up when we get to those 45 second rounds. So breathe, little lift. If you need a stretch break, drop it back, quick stretch, bring it back up. Here we go. Lift and down, breathe. And down, lift and breathe. Five, four, three, two, relax. All right, we're at the top. Hope you're sweating with me. 45 seconds, push up and atomic knees coming in. So you pick where you're gonna be. I'm gonna stay on knees for that push up. Here we go, 45, bring it in. Here's what we're gonna mix up. Do that push up and then let's go side to side. Push up wherever you are, pop it up, obliques, obliques. I know again, this is gonna be a lot on your core, so really take your time. Side and side, you got 15 seconds. Strong, bring it up. Yes, good. Four, three, two, one, and relax. That was hard, right? We're gonna stay at that 45 seconds. Here's what we're gonna add. Out and in, inner thighs with that pike. All from the elbows. So catch your breath, little stretch back, starting in five, four, three, watch me here, out and lift. Take it out and in and lift. Squeeze and lift and breathe. Yes, only 15 seconds down, but we got it. And breathe, out and up. Yes, 15 to go. Again, if you need a little stretch, I did. Take it here, take it out, and lift. Out and in, lift. Four, three, two, relax. 15 seconds. Let's take it. 30 seconds of that push up and knees to each side and then 15 seconds. This is our last push. I know it's a lot on the mat, but you can do it. Here we go. 30 seconds. Knees side to side. Here we go. Strong. Up, side to side. Breathe. And up, side to side. 10 to go. I think you got time for at least one more of each. Last one. And relax. Last 15 seconds. I know I'm dripping sweat, but here we go. On our elbows, out and in, pike. Then we are done on the mat. Here we go, 15, out and lift. Strong core. I know, we thought we were done with cardio, but that's the thing about the TRX. Your heart is gonna pump the whole time. Five, four, three, two, 
relax, <laughs> stretch it back. Grab a quick sip of water. Guess what, team? We're gonna have a couple bonus exercises. Not a full circuit, but grab a quick sip, because we got time. Since we're here, let's just do one little bridge. Our core was working hard. Now let's take it. Two fingers in your cradles, roll it back, heels in, and let's just take 45 seconds, because you can do it straight, in, lift, and down. Joining me in five, four, three, two. So in, lift, up, and down. So no pyramid here. We're just adding a couple little bonuses because we got time. Breathe. Usually it's the other way around where I say, I'm gonna do a 20 minute workout and it ends up being 35. This I thought was gonna be 20 minutes. We finished a little quicker. Our breaks were a little shorter. Breathe. 15 seconds. I know those legs are tired, but get them up and in and breathe. Last four, three, two, last one, and relax. Stretch it out right here, breathe. Legs out, and then watch me here. We're gonna go out and in, up and twist. Out and in, and if you just get a crunch, that's okay. We're all the way up, here we go, 45 seconds. Out and in, up and twist, obliques. Out and in, up and twist. Totally fine if it's out and crunch, or out and crunch. Here we go. Breathe. Use this time to catch your breath. Out and up. we got 15 seconds. Breathe. Last five, four, three, two. Relax. Up on your feet. I know. I keep tricking you into thinking you're almost done. Really quick. One last upper, one last lower. Let's take it, those letters, so you know it. Y, join me. W and T. We got a little bit of an overload on those push muscles because we added the push up for core and T. So let's finish out with those pull muscles. Y, W, and T. Y, W, and T. 15 seconds, so close. Y, W, and T. Last one of each, nice and wide. Flip those shoulders up. Big stretch back. And last one, just your one-legged squat. 30 seconds each side, then we are done. Core's in tight, ready, here we go. You can just do that little squat. You can have that foot down for balance if you need it. You can take that leg out. Drive it up, out, drive it up. Or if you really want one last little push, you can do that jump, but make sure you're still getting low. We don't want this. I want you all the way down, jump it up. 10 seconds, breathe, squat or jump. Four, three, two, other side, here we go. I promise this is the last thing. So you can just be squatting here. Toe down for a little extra balance. Pistol squat, up to you. Breathe. I know, I should have made this another circuit. It's just hard in those pyramid intervals. You gotta have something you can switch back and forth to. Jump it for five, four, three, two. You did it. <laughs> Sorry for sneaking those in, but we wanna make the most of our time, right? Big stretch back, lean into it here, and breathe. Walk it in, 
arms out in front. Let's put one foot forward, one hip back, drive it here, and then turn towards that knee that's bent. You can even open it up if you want. My heart's pumping, I'm sweating. I don't know about you. Let's switch it here, take it out. Hips back, rotate. Walk yourself around this way. Walk one foot forward. Just inch it out, lean away from it. Breathe. And switch your sides, take those hands up. And breathe. And roll it here. Drop those straps, one hand forward, take it to the side, oh, other side. So press those fingertips down, we're stretching forearm and wrist, and then also up through that head, neck, and shoulders, breathe into it here. And take it here. You did it. That was your TRX pyramid workout. Great job, everybody.